So this is the Make Noise Rene. As I've mentioned before, it's a Cartesian coordinates based sequencer. These 16 dials set the CV for each step and is based on an X and Y axis grid. There is an X clock input to step through the X axis and another one for the Y axis. You can directly access a step by just touching the respective touch plate. So there's also a real time control aspect to this step sequencer. Now, aside from accessing or triggering the steps with the touch plate, you also get two additional touch plate buttons here, a program A and program B button. Touching program A will scroll through the different options available. The first one here is access to turn on or off specific steps of the sequencer. You can turn on or off gate outputs for the x-axis here, gate for the y here. The next two x and y function pages have additional options, some of which are mirrored for both x and y, and some exclusive. We will check them all out later. Finally, there's a Q page, which lets you set specific scales for the quantized CV out. You can even save four of these scale presets. Now, whenever you're in a particular page, you can touch program B and exit to performance mode. Alright, so let's quickly see how we can run this sequencer. I'll plug in a clock output to the X clock input. And now the sequencer is running. Let me reset everything so we get just the basic movement. So now you can see the sequencer stepping along the X axis. If you want to step through the Y axis, just plug a clock signal into the Y clock input here. If you want to traverse both axes, plug a clock to both clock inputs. I have a clock with a different rate on each input, so it's stepping through in a unique way. Now we have a couple of mod inputs for both axes. These will work in conjunction with the XY function page, which we will check out later. There's a CV input for each axis, which can be used to modulate the clock rate. So if I just have X running here, I can use a trim dial just below to modulate the clock, or I can plug in a variable voltage signal to modulate the axis movement. You get the same set of inputs for the Y axis as well. So a Y mod and a Y CV. So that's all the inputs. This trim dial controls the touch plate sensitivity. So if it's low, the touch plate is not very sensitive. If I set it to the lowest, it's least sensitive. You have to really tap to trigger a plate. I prefer it being very sensitive, so the trim set to the maximum gives us just that. All right, now for the outputs. You get four outs, a quantized CV out, a non-quantized CV out, a gate for when there is movement on the x-axis, and a gate out for when there is movement on the y-axis. So that's a quick overview of Rene. In the next tutorial, we will see how to set up a basic sequence using just one axis.